Hi, this is the first hot air collector I built last year. It's a pretty large one, but I think you have to build them large because the small ones give you only small benefits. And here in the Netherlands, the sun is not shining that much. It's a nine square meters of collector surface. It has three compartments with three uh, gaze collectors. They are of the path through principle. Uh, the hot air is coming out of our home, going downwards and blown through the holes, through the gaze, heating up there, and then collected here on the top side and with some uh, duct fans blown back into the house. I built the collector on the wall. Of course you can build a closed collector first and attach that to a wall, but you must realize that collectors this size become very heavy. Between the wall and the casing I used bubble wrap for isolation. On top of that I placed some used hardboard sheets. When it was done I painted the whole casing black. I didn't want to drill holes through the brickstone walls, so I came up with this solution. The collector is a simple framework with two layers of black insect mesh. I'm a big fan of this thermostat. It switches very precise. A temperature drop of 3 degrees already makes it switch. It's low cost and since it doesn't use any power to operate, is profitable in use. This is the second collector I built last year. It's a smaller one. It has only two compartments with two collectors of three square meters each. So it's six square meters as a whole. It's smaller, but it's very efficient. This is what I call the condor collector. It's made of very thin offset printing plates cut with a household scissor into small strips and those strips collect the heat very well. I cut them into small, as I call them, feathers and they work like a charm. This is the third collector I built last year. It's seven meters long. It has a collector surface of five square meters. It's built like the sun duct collectors. It's made of offset printing plates, painted black and then covered by air bubble foil for isolation. This is the fourth collector I built last year. It's 13 meters long. It has a collector surface of 10 square meters. It's built of very thin offset printing plates. It's built like the sun duct collectors. It's a backpass collector. And it's ducted by only two fans of 25 watts. This one has no glazing. These collectors are made of very thin aluminium and very lightweight, so the first sigh of wind will blow them away. Be sure to put a lot of brick stones inside of them to give them some ballast. This collector always starts way ahead before the bubble wrapped one. I'm not sure about the bubble wrap, it reflects a lot of light. <laughs> 